So I got an update to the Model S. There's an update to Autopilot. Yay! There's an update to Autopilot where it will now show the other vehicles on the side lanes. So hopefully this comes to the Model 3 soon. Also there's a, a mobile connector improvements. This is probably for the newer ones, uh, the Gen 2. Uh, I still have the Gen 1 for this car. Let's see what update this is. 21.9. 21.9. No new Easter eggs popped up in the screen, but pretty cool that there was an update to autopilot. My wife is actually taking a trip today, so she's going to be able to uh, find out what's in it. Maybe I can get her to videotape some stuff and uh, put, to, put a video together while she's driving, but be safe. So I'm on my way to Goldsboro from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'm going to visit some family. I have a cousin who has a birthday and we're going to celebrate. And I was kind of excited because I'm taking my Model S. I'm driving by myself. As you can see, there's no one else with me. And it's just going to be a, a girl trip. Meeting a bunch of my cousins and we're just going to hang out. Well, last night I got an update. And it's 21.9 uh, looks like. And I was kind of excited. My husband said there was some enhanced lane assists. And also you can actually see the vehicles in the other lanes and I thought well that's pretty cool right well the one thing that is happening that I'm overly irritated about right now is that literally every 18 seconds it's telling me to hold the wheel now I have my hand I'm being responsible and I have my hand on the wheel it is still telling me to hold the wheel before it wasn't doing that and maybe it would go five ten minutes it kind of varied it depend on if it you know noticed if it had tension on the wheel but now that doesn't seem to matter and it just keeps going off I'll show you what I'm talking about it just asked me to hold the wheel so I'm actually doing a countdown I started this video to see how long it takes so I can actually time it and I can give you an accurate amount well that was only about 18 seconds so I'm gonna give it a little jiggle again We'll see how long this next one takes. I'm, I'm kind of irritated. I like, I'm a very responsible driver. I keep my hand on the wheel at all times. And before you could give it a little pressure. And if, it, even if you kept tension on it, it never even asked you. That was literally 18 seconds. Uh, before you could be resting your hand on it. It felt that you had pressure and it didn't bother you. It didn't ask. I mean, I've gone a whole trip to Charlotte and back and never asked it for me to hold the wheel and now literally my hand is resting on the wheel you can see I have tension and it is still asking me to hold the wheel and it's literally doing it about every 18 seconds I think once I get to my destination I'm driving out to Raleigh so I can um, supercharge there before I move go on to Goldsboro so I'm very tempted to reboot this to see if that makes a difference but I think this is going to drive me a little bit visited Raleigh Supercharger for the first time. I don't know in my head I had that it was by this big mall, but it was actually by a very large Target. There was a hotel, big fitness center, and then there was a, some outside um, shops that you could visit and places to eat. So it was, it was pretty nice, but I, I don't know in my head I had that it was by the mall. Uh, but I was there for about an hour because I wanted to fully charge so that when I got to Goldsboro, I didn't have any issues um, because there's not a supercharger down there. So I was a little bit concerned. But when I got to the Raleigh Supercharger, I went ahead and rebooted the computer just to see if it made a difference. It did make slightly a difference. I'm not um, seeing the um, hold steering wheel pop up as often. Before, literally it was happening every 15 to 20 seconds. Now it is though happening every minute, which is still bad. So let me show you. So I'm just going to time this to see how long it In takes. Two miles, take the exit right onto US 70 East towards yeah. Goldsboro. Apparently I need to take this exit in a couple miles. But I do want to time this and see how long it takes. We're at 24 seconds right now. Oh, so 25 seconds. That's all. So it got a little better, but not good. So I guess I'm going to have to report a bug to Tesla because this I find unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. In 0.2 miles, turn left onto Hornaday Road. Then you will reach your destination. It's Monday and I'm stuck in traffic as usual. However, I do have great news. 
it seems like uh, the car is responding a little bit better. Last night when I got home, Brian restarted the computer, which I had done actually when I had stopped in Raleigh at the supercharger. However, I didn't see a difference after I did it. He did it again last night, and now the car actually seems to be responding a little bit better. The alert is not coming up as often for me to hold the wheel, and now when I'm holding the steering wheel like I normally do as a responsible driver, it actually is um, seems like it's sensing that my hand is there, and it's not asking me 15 to 20 seconds like it was doing. So I'm kind of happy about that, and um, it's actually recognizing all the cars and the traffic. I'm, I'm pleased. I did do a, a couple bug reports, so hopefully maybe they're going to send out a software update for that and kind of fix those little bugs, but I'm happy with what it is.